Hi, welcome to my channel. I have a book review for you today, and this is called The Woman on the Platform, or is it The Girl? Excuse me, The Girl on the Platform by Ellie Midwood. Now, The Girl on the Platform is a true, it's a historical fiction based on a true story. So it's a fictional story based on real life characters. The real life characters were Libby Schultz Boysen or Libertas, L-I-B-E-R-T-A-S, Libertas Schultz Boysen and her husband, Harrow. Now, when Liberty, Libertas started off as a teenager, she was a really an affluent German teenager. Uh, there was the invasion had started Hitler's invasion into Berlin had started World War two had not started yet but the invasion and the Nazi regime was getting off of its feet but that didn't sway or affect Libertas in any way we'll call it libs libs it didn't affect libs in a significant way as a matter of fact she wanted to be a involved in the film industry. She became a film reviewer and a writer and she was off to the MGM studios. However, she met someone and his name was Harrow. H-A-R-R-O. And when she met him, she was, it was just at a time when two-piece bathing suits were accepted. So she's laying on the beach and she's in all her regalia and looking gorgeous and he says he says something to her and she goes well you could show you I showed you yours you can show me I showed you mine you can show me yours he goes I don't know if you can take it and she kind of misunderstood him and so he takes his t-shirt off of course he's got a swimming trunks on but he takes his t-shirt off or his shirt off and what he meant was you're not going to be able to take the scars he was riddled with scars. Now, that's significant because he trusted her right from the outset with the scars on his body. And she reacted in a remarkable way. She didn't shy away. She didn't get embarrassed. She didn't overly apologize to him. She sought to understand him. And this allowed him to trust her. And with this trust, he was able to they were able to realize that they were kindred spirits that the she had a rebellious attitude about her way of life and Hitler coming into Germany or his regime coming into Germany but he was also a resistance fighter so they paired together at first they they lived together and eventually they got married and the longer they were together, the deeper their fight was. As a matter of fact, it didn't matter what aspect of resisting they chose, they went at it full force. Uh, whether it was parties that they had uh, under the, uh, uh, un they, like to transmit secrets, whether it was under the guise of parties, whether it was meeting new people, whether it was trusting new people, whether it was delivering messages, whether it was using a trans, a form of transmission, like a radio wave or whatever, really, really deeply embedded into fighting that regime, being instrumental or working to become instrumental in bringing Hitler down. That was their common goal. Now, the story was written in a romantic sense because it was very much a love story. And we see clearly that the love they had for each other was bone deep. And no matter how much they fought, no matter how challenging things were, no matter how dangerous things were, no matter how much bravery they had to show, they had a, a deep and abiding love for one another. Now, there were things that came up in this story, such as he had an, a health issue that needed attention. They had a friend who worked with them, who, who worked as a resistance fighter with them, and she had a major health issue. So it touched on a lot of things, I think this book did. It was 351 pages, which is a medium-sized book, but it really touched on a lot of things. And so I think one of the first lines I saw in that book is bravery in the face of fear. 
they could have lived in a life of fear and how Hitler and, and and followed his regime or they could have fought well they chose to fight this book was utterly heartbreaking enough said World War II was a terrible time in history the concentration camps the annihilation the mass killings it was all horrid and so there was a lot of heartbreaking moments in this book and what's more is they were true real-life character people that existed lived before and as World War II broke out and all you got to do is Google Liberty Schultz Boysen Liberty no not Liberty Libertus Schultz Boysen and you will see to what end they came and one thing I liked about this book is they were often separated they were often in different places but they always came back together and that togetherness was to the very very end and that is The Girl on the Platform by Ellie Midwood. Like I said, based on a true story, every Ellie Midwood book I have read, and I think this is only number six, so there's more, and I will get to them. But every time I pick up one of her books, it's always an astonishing, heartbreaking, uh, compelling, gripping, you name it. It's, It's all of the above. And that's what this book is. And that's the review that I want to give you. I will link this in the description below. I'm making this review maybe three weeks before I can even post this to my channel. But uh, when I do post this review, I will link the description. Excuse me. I will link the blog post for this review in the description. And I'll also post the Amazon link. So that's it. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye-bye.